one more part, placed between each pair of needles, that you need to see to better understand this. It's called a sinker, and here's what it looks like. It's a thin steel element with a distinctive shape. This illustration highlights the parts. A sinker has a butt with a place to insert a can. It has a hole, a throat, and a nose. As the needle goes up, the sinker moves in to catch the fabric in its throat. Since the fabric can't go up with the rising needle, the old loop now clears the latch. When the hook catches a feeder yarn as the needle moves down, the sinker moves back out of the way, and knockover, cast off, and stitch forming takes place. As the new stitch is formed, the fabric rests on the top of the nose.